All right, now let's give you an update on what's happening in Kajiado Central constituency. Polls opened at 6 o'clock this morning and voters started streaming in to cast the ballot for the one that will represent them in the few uh, short, it's about two and a half years before we go into the next election, of course, following the resignation of Mkai Seri, who took up the post of Interior Cabinet Secretary. Some of that footage you're seeing there, I believe that's Kajado Township. Uh, that's the polling center that you're looking at. Um, the candidates, we understand, the three of them, that is Elijah Mimusi of ODM. We have Kuntaing Kashuma, who's an independent candidate, and Patrick Tutui of the Jubilee Alliance Party cast their votes early this morning. Um, now, some of the challenges that may be experienced in uh, these uh, voting uh, polling stations are literacy issues. I understand that was there in Miley Tisa, spoke to Ian Wafula a short time before we came on the air, talked about literacy issues in some of the polling stations. And of course, this is a typically nomadic community, but voter turnout has been much better than expected. Remember, the IEBC sent about 750 officials to this area to manage this by-election, 204 of them manning the security and about 102 presiding officers and deputy presiding officers as well. All of these uh, candidates, the three of them, vying for the hearts and minds of 39,545 registered voters. The voter turnout, of course, is something that would be very interesting. Whether that will mirror what happened during the nominations for both ODM and the Jubilee Alliance Party is something that we wait to see <coughs> that will happen. Excuse me, in one of the centers, that's Il Bissell Primary School, over 300 residents had cast their ballot by around 8.30 this morning. As you can see, the queues still there. They're using the handheld electronic voter identification devices and then, of course, moving on to the manual register just to check that and there have been no incidences that have no incidents reported as of now but all seems to be going well of course the polling centers will close at five after which the counting will begin when patrick tutui voted he was accompanied by the kajiado senator peter moseset the kajiado south member of parliament kato olemetito <coughs> excuse me and moses olesakuda who's the member of parliament for Kajiado North. He was also accompanied by Nairobi Senator Mike Mbuvi Sonko. He expressed um, his satisfaction with the voting process, saying it was smooth, and he said he would accept the outcome of the poll. Meanwhile, independent candidate Kuntain Kashuma cast his vote at Engalibo Primary School, that is in Mailitisa. Uh, there was a bit of a mix-up in the register at this station. It affected the voting exercise for a while as some voters were turned away. But we understand that was uh, sorted out. Um, and some of those who were turned away were not registered voters. So looks like the usual hiccups, but the voting is going on smoothly. As we said, Ian Wafula is there, and we will be uh, catching up with him to give us the details. He's been to five polling stations this morning so far, two in Kajiado Town, two in El Bissell, and one in Miley Tissa. We'll have the latest of this, so you want to keep it KTN for the very latest.